I didn't believe it until I saw them. I saw them all. How many? 100,000 at least. The Great War. And it is here. y'all it's your country cousin so great for in the building hope you're doing good hope you're doing great because boy i got a double feature for you now mind you did i mess up again yes i did of, of course it's, it's me of course i'm gonna mess up but like still i messed up i really did mess up for real for real only due to the fact that um, i was getting a new pc Finally got the new PC, got everything transferred, got everything situated, got everything handled, except my sound. You wanna know why? Cause Soul was being Soul again, and just so I happened to not reset the audio. Yeah, I know. So guess what? You're gonna have me commentating this for 37 minutes. Okay, not 37 minutes, but like 30 minutes, give or take, okay? But th that's not the point. The point is, we got a double feature header for you today. Uh, first of all, we're gonna get you into this news gazette before we get into Memphis versus Rice. And guess what? Surprise! We keep winning. <laughs> Let me stop playing. All oh, seriousness though, this game right here was supposed to be a it was supposed to be a 50.0 type of game, really. Because it's Rice. They got nothing but scholars over there. It's kind of like Stanford, but Texas form edition. So, they ain't really got no football players over there. They don't. Like, they have a nice offense, same way as we do. We have a nice offense. We have a nice, nice offense. But, of course, both defenses are average or subpar. They ain't really hitting no nothing on defense. Unless we're playing against each other in the conferences. But when we're playing against everybody else, it's pretty much a losing situation right off the top. But in conference play, that's where it gets comp competitive. It gets very competitive during con conference play. But um, right now we are technically 11-0. and 0. Uh, Yes. I'm spoiling it for you because I wasn't even able to show you everything that I wanted to show you anyway. Even though it's 37 minutes of content you're about to see. Still, I wasn't even able to show you everything. Because if I was, then the video would be an hour long. And we're not going to do that. Um, but as you can see though, man. They are not... They are not They are not doing well. They aren't. Uh, they lost a lot of prospects last year. They lost a lot of prospects. But... 
it is still a solid i can't i can't even say solid though i'm trying to be generous look okay this, this, this is an average team okay it's an average team it's an average team same way with us the only problem is our offense is slightly better slightly i'm putting slightly on it only because of the wide receiver and the quarterback i created like mm, like they ain't really mm. Like I said before, it's supposed to be 50 0, okay? The only problem is our defense and their offense is pretty much smack dead in the middle, okay? They're the same. Uh, when it comes to ratings and statistics, by the way. But um, you saw it, you saw it all, man. I mean, come on. Until you play the game, you would never know. But um, I wanted to show you the Heisman watch real quick because I uh, got the quarterback up to top 20 currently, which is nice. Considering the fact that this team is possibly about to be ranked after Rice. Who am I kidding? Come on now. It definitely about to be ranked after Rice. Like, <laughs> duh. Like, but no. All seriousness, though. This is the lineup for who they have as their top five candidates. Now, if you was pausing in between me talking and you was looking at the, some of the quarterback statistics, uh, you realize they... They do not compare to mine whatsoever. The only thing that's difference between mine's and theirs is touchdowns. That's it. Yards, attempts, interception rate, not better than mine. They just have way more touchdowns than I do currently. Um, and It's not like I'm going to be able to get all 35 touchdowns plus in, with, what, four, five games left? I doubt it. But... It is a regular season uh, award, so it's not something that you should just be really, truly tied up in. But overall, it's still a good thing to add to your resume. But let's get you to the players of the week, man. Of course, it's them too. I mean, you would think with the performances that I have been making this character put on for each and every single video, you would think that most of them would probably end up with the quarterback at player of the game but no not even player of the game sometimes sometimes he don't even get that at all matter of fact this broadcast that i've pretty much clipped up into highlights is literally about to show you exactly what i'm talking about like i'd be having this dude go off especially with the cadence look at that oh my goodness beautiful right there caught bruh there's a lot of times where the defense really do be leaving themselves open like crazy. Ain't no way that you should not go for like 10 and 10 on the first half, right? Right? Like, nah, let me stop playing. So, um, it is second and six, first half. Mind you, literally, I said first half. First quarter, by the way, a lot has happened within the first quarter. A lot of ups and downs, but they did get a chance to score first. Oh my goodness, right there. I should have been past the ball a long time ago, but man, it, it was it was crazy. It, it was crazy nonetheless. Two for two right now currently, 44 yards. Listen, this whole quarter has been nothing but back and forth crap. Literally just crap, like all over the place. Mostly just because there was a lot of fumbles, a lot of interceptions but really couldn't capitalize on anything. And then boom, right there. It was going to be a touchdown, but he kind of ran back towards the ball. Now mind you, yes, that is a good thing. You want your Rob Chiefs to do that because there has been plenty of times, even in the past first season videos, by the way, where you've seen the wide receiver not run towards the ball. Chaotic, chaotic, I know. But hey, at least on this play, first and goal, by the way, we do real good and actually get a touchdown. Uh, now that you seen that whole glitch, I know you seen it. I seen it. Like that's not supposed to happen, but it happens though. That wasn't even a draw play either. That that was a that was a straight halfback slam too. That was power, and yeah, it froze. But um, on to the uh, end of the first quarter, they did score again. Like I said, defense and the offense for Rice is like right there neck and neck to each other, dog. Like they supposed to, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's gonna psych. Okay, I'm playing. He, he, 
he did not take off like that. I, I really wish he would have, but he didn't. But it is what it is. Um, it's the second quarter. Um, we up here at the 18. We got a couple plays moved up, and we're doing good so far. But so close to getting hit. So close to getting hit. Had to take off. Mm. Getting shifty out there. Look, bro. Okay. Look. Look. He trying. Okay. He is trying. Okay. He is trying. But will it be enough? Probably not. Only because this man finally got to well within the five yards, and we was not able to run the ball in. Now, will I call that sad? Yes because I would want a rushing touchdown if we're five yards away from the touchdown. But hey, he was wide open, so why not give him the ball? You're supposed to be giving him the ball anyway, considering the fact that this is his last year. You're supposed to be giving him the ball, and he's supposed to have at least, I'm counting right now, he's supposed to have at least 20 to 25 touchdowns this season, for the season. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful fate. But he's taking off, though. Ain't no way you catch him. Look at that. Dive to the ground. Mm. Beautiful break off for a run. Beautiful break off for a run, man. Um, the wide receiver one was supposed to really have like 25 to 28 touchdowns this season. And quarterback uh, David Washington is supposed to have at least 30 for the season. He, he was. But uh, honestly, I will say that for the second season, I kind of somewhat similarly performed. The only difference is between the yards. The only difference is the yards. That's it, though. Uh, not touchdowns, but yards. I don't know why. Oh, my goodness. Get off me. And I ain't even do that myself. That was the quarterback. That was the quarterback that did that. He was like, bro, he too weak. But um, as you can see, we did not score. Because I threw an interception. I was being too greedy. Okay, I was being greedy. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I was being greedy. Threw this man an interception, dog. I was supposed to be not throwing more, any more interceptions for the season. But look at that. Boom. Beautiful. And then this man fumbled. Yo, man, you, you talk about scared. You talk about scared. But if you but if you just saw right there, though, man, he was 10 for 10. Okay. 10 for 10, 100, 158 yards, two touchdowns. Actually, one touchdown. My fault. Damn. Ooh. Yo, I forgot I even added that clip in there. Oh my goodness, yo. See, that's what I mean by when I say that man. That's what I mean by when I say that man was supposed to have over 20 touchdowns. He keep getting killed because I keep throwing hospital footballs. Yeah, it, it, it is what it is, though, man. I, I ain't trying to get that man killed no more. Okay, I'm trying. But um, it is third and 20. Due to a lot of penalties um, and getting sacked on that play, on the previous play, but of course, come on now. Pump your chest up, my G. Pump your chest up, dog. You know you deserve that touchdown. But man, 12 attempts in at 206, bro, with only one touchdown. It's crazy. That's crazy. But we did get the score, though. Um, and here we are at the one, bro. Like, and it's second and 23, because we got sacked, of course. Uh, it, it's been it's been a slightly mediocre uh going by the uh offensive line but that was beautiful oh my goodness and the fact that the quarterback was able to sit in the pocket that time beautiful dog beautiful blocking uh but that's one of their finer moments for blocking when it comes to the uh being able to stay in the pocket and just pass the ball that was that was a very 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 enlightened moment because I was like oh I can finally sit in the pocket again oh that's that's gonna be a wrap I wish we would have dropped fifty on them honestly but we didn't um because as you can see it's fourth quarter we only got twenty points but we did have to switch up the play because they didn't drop the safeties back into man and boom over the top easy catch touchdown like eighty two has been a saving grace for me when it comes to uh, spreading the ball around him and number 18, when number 18 is hurt, of course. But man, oh my goodness. That was such a beautiful route. He caught it over the top, he was open. Safety was not catching him. That, that, that was supposed to be a touchdown. 
It was supposed to be a touchdown. But as you can see, though, man, well, you probably didn't see it, but I saw it. 14 for 14, 305 yards, two touchdowns. That's crazy. This is the game where I did get player of the game, but I did not get player of the week for the conference. And another beautiful pass over top. Um, um, I will say this has been a um, this has been one of those games where you literally just cannot describe the performance that the quarterback is putting on. The only problem is, um, oh, I didn't throw an interception. Oh, I'm thinking about the next game. My fault. Uh, but man, um, this is one of those games where you you just cannot forget that. You can't. Oh my goodness. I don't know how he held on, but he did. But, uh, Rob Super number one, 172 yards for the game. Crazy. And he didn't even get over 10 receptions. Um, but there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of plays where they should have scored, like here. Like that was that was way too close. That was just way too close. Way too close. The ball passed the plane, but he didn't score. So of course we had to run the ball then. Um, I would say I would say that's his 15th touchdown for the season for halfback number two, but um. 33-21, though, man. Um, a great showing for the offense. A somewhat subpar showing for the defense. Um, nice conference game. I mean, it, it was pretty good. But like I said before, it'll always be competitive between the conferences because they're so familiar with each other every year playing against each other. But it's, um, it's becoming a... Um, a showing for the offense way more than it is for the defense, mostly just because we lost a lot of people, and our linebacker actually got hurt, and he's going to be out for like nine weeks, which basically means he's not returning. He, he isn't. I tried to hold out hope for him returning, but he won't be returning at all for the rest of the season. Um, I mean, we can try to make it into the playoffs and get a deep run, but if you're not ranked past four, Four to five. I mean, you're not getting into the national championship, so it is what it is. But uh, on to to uh, la 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 la. Sheesh. On to <laughs> bro. This could be a crazy thirty minutes. Okay. On to the statistics. Um, like I said before, man. Um, he only messed up twice. Most of those is just due to um the receivers getting hit and he passed the ball late, but. 89% against Rice is, is what you're supposed to be doing. And yeah, he was sacked four times, um, 27 yards and 21 yards for the quarterback and halfback. Two touchdowns though, which, which is crazy. Um, and 172 yards, man. I mean, he, he, was, he was killing him out there. He really was. It was nice of him. I hope he gets uh, first CUSA this year. I really do. Um, and he did that under 10 yards. Under 10. That's very hard to do. I said 10 yards. Under 10 receptions, which is very, very hard to do. It's very, very hard to do. Like, look at the average yards per catch for a lot of these guys. Like, you, you would literally see plus 10, plus 20, plus 25, like, The yards out the catch sometimes will carry off into the 40s, depending on how much space they have in the open field. But, um, yeah, he only had that one drop. And, of course, the left tackle. The, pro the person that's supposed to be one of the best people blocking for me be letting me get sacked a lot. But it is what it is, though, man. I mean, when, when the AI has its own problems and struggles, you can see and you just pretty much have to adapt. I mean, it is what it is. You can't really do too much about it except uh, change your pass timing or uh, just run the ball more. 
I mean, th th that's pretty much it. Or you can change the cadence on the line in order to force them to jump a lot, which will create a lot of penalties and which will make the D line hesitant to jump on to jump on your O line. But um, it's been a um, it's been a revealing sight, mostly just due to uh, how we performed offensively against Rice. Is what made me go, oh, okay, yeah. Um, we're going to pretty much have to step up offensively even more. Because the fact that they was giving up points to Rice is not something I wanted to see at all. But um, they gave up 21 to them. And we have Southern Miss up next right after them. And it's like, that's that's not good. It's not. It's not. But, um... Just like I showed earlier, though, I will show showed this time as well. If you want to skip to the gameplay, you can. You do not have to hear me ramble and talk all over 30 minutes. But um, just talk during the commentary, of course, when I'm supposed to be. But um, we are now officially ranked, though. We are now at rank 25. But on the News Gazette, it says that we got snuffed only because we are completely undefeated. Like, we haven't lost. And it's, it's pretty much the Houston situation because of the conference that we are a part of and the competition that we are a part of as well. It's like, of course they're going to give you 25. Of course they're going to give you 17, 18, 15 when you don't have heavy comp like that. Um, Just what does Memphis have to do to gain respect in the polls? Well, guess what? We're going to have to win in the postseason. <laughs> Which we have not done, by the way. Well, technically, I would say we have won in the postseason when it comes to the conference championship. But I would not say that due to the bowl game. Because we lost the bowl game to Fresno State last year. So, I can't necessarily say, oh, yeah, man, we, we doing good in the postseason, dog. We, we got what it takes. Uh, Y'all lost. So, um, I would say that's probably the only thing we really have to do in order to get past the top 15 when it comes to uh, poll ranking. But we have a solid team in Southern Miss to, that we're going up against this time around. Yeah, they lost a few people, but they are still a solid team. Same thing with Houston. Only problem is they just need to get their chemistry back up. And Houston will be back on top again, and Southern Miss will be back on top again. And I, I, I rarely doubt that they will have any major problems. But we did also uh, struggle against Southern Miss. Uh, struggled against Southern Miss last year and we struggled against them again this year as well. Not just due to the uh, their passing offense, which is top 15 in the nation. I mean, they have a good passing offense, but um, it was surprisingly the rushing is what we had major problems with. And we're top five in rush defense. But, I mean, look at that, man. Look, look at it. You see it? They halfback ain't no joke, okay? He got player of the week for a reason. Yeah, they may be six and four, but just because they six and four, don't let that record fool you. Got some nice players. Um, I really, I really, really doubt that they would have any major problems going against my defense at all. At all. I feel like it's gonna be a back and forth game in which it was. Um, but man. If, if the sound was on, I would I would literally show y'all everything in separate videos, of course, and not just putting them into one due to them being highlights. Let's go ahead and get you to the broadcast, though, even though, yes, they're not saying nothing. I still like to show the presentation, okay? Presentation is still nice. It, gives me, it still gives me that nostalgic feeling, even though I played this game, what, how long I, how long I started this channel? Bro, look, it's been a while, okay? It's been a while, okay? It's been a while. We're about to get into a year, actually, coming up pretty soon. But look at the conference play, though, man. Look at the conference play. 6-0, and 10-0 and over. Like, bruh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Like, and look at them stats, dog. Matter of fact, go back and pause it and look at those stats, man. And then... In the next video, I'm gonna show y'all. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do a side by side comparison, pretty much, between the current stats that I created for this character, and then the stats that I created statistically for um, 
for this character. Mostly just due to the fact that this man has been balling. He has. But since he wasn't ranked, he's not really in the top 10, top 5, which is crazy. But we got him ranked now, so hopefully they'll get more yardage. And oh my goodness. Boy, got killed over there. Crazy. But, um... There was a lot. There was a lot of penalties in this game, though. There was a lot of penalties, mostly on their side due to the cadence being so well, which is what I talked about earlier. Um, but um, we did score on an interception, by the way. Uh, shout out to the strong safety. Uh, he got a 32-yard return, uh, and that's what propelled them over for a touchdown. In the first mm, caught one foot in. That's all you need. He upset, but hey, it is what it is, man. But um, we did get sacked for negative 18 yards, mostly just because I was I was I was doing too much. Okay, I should just threw the ball away. But of course, still tendencies. Okay, it's player tendencies. You gotta stop doing that. But oh my goodness, boom, caught, broke tackle, gone. Listen, that was a beautiful play. And speaking back to what I said earlier about the offense having to be a lot better just due to the lack of production on the defense so currently for the past couple weeks. Uh, look, man, we're gonna have to do something. We're gonna have to do something. But um, in the red zone, in the last possession, in the last drive, we got a little bit greedy with the pass and tried to run the ball when we finally got to the goal line, but couldn't make nothing happen. So we ended up going for a field goal. And of course, Cadence yet again, good block by the halfback and caught. Flag, of course, the flag is for offsides. We don't need to get into all that. Because that penalty got declined anyway. Oh, and they did hit me for a safety, by the way. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to show that. That was on me. It is what it is, though. But boom, call. One foot in. That's all you need. This ain't the NFL. Please remember that. Yet again, another penalty. And another penalty. And another penalty. And another penalty. Pretty much, uh, it, 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 got, it got bad very quickly. Right after that completion. Because now we're back on the 45. And of course, I'm over here getting my pain man on I'm faking plays. It is what it is. We got to play clock on our side. But this play right here. This play right here. Oh my goodness. Same person yet again. Like. The coach really loves calling this play for some odd reason. I don't know why. Well, scratch that. It's because this man keep getting open over the top. No matter if I bullet pass it, no matter if I toss it over. If I toss it over, the safety might get a chance to go and get it. But still, there's, there's a lot of reasons why I'd be bullet passing the. Because most of the time, uh, last year, whenever I would try to, you know, float it over the top, the safety would be there. Ed read that thing, catch it, and it is what it is. But 72% for the red zone alert is crazy. That's, that's very good. Very huge improvement from last year. Um, oh my goodness, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful pass, beautiful pass. But of course, offsides, we're not even gonna worry about that. But this right here was beautiful, man. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised he was able to stay in. I'm surprised he was able to stay in. That was crazy. But that was still a very, very, very beautiful pass over the top. Limited amount of spacing too. Limited amount of spacing. I was gonna pass it to number one, but I seen him over the middle. I was like, I gotta give this man the ball. I do. Um, back to back touchdowns per game for him. Congratulations to him on that. Um, but I was definitely trying to score before the half. As you can see, it's 11 seconds left. One safety over the top, and he ain't he ain't gravy like that. Oh, he was definitely passing. But the safety, I mean the safety, the corner dropped back. So I should have bullet passed it to make sure that he can get the ball first and then maybe get a few extra yards, break a tackle or whatever. But eh, it is what it is. Um, definitely called a timeout. Definitely called a timeout. Because it needed it. And plus, we still had two more to go anyway. Um, caught him with the early jump. Got him looking. Boom, right there. Now, you would have thought this would have been picked, but no. This man came back to the ball. What? No touchdown? Yes, you are right. No touchdown. Look at this, man. The foot crossed the plane, but the ball didn't cross the plane. So, at the one-yard line, we are. 
But man, hey, for the first half and already at 219 yards, it's crazy. But um, we did throw a pick, by the way. Pick six, that's the reason why they got 16 to our 20. And we did end up kicking a field goal before half. So, because I caught the time out in time. So, we are doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, but the momentum kind of shifted towards their side just due to the fact that um, I threw a pick, of course. This man almost left the ball, by the way. This man almost left the ball because he thought he was going to get it. I just wanted to wait for a couple more seconds. Just a couple more seconds over the top. That's it. But um, he, he was about to leave that whole area, and I was going to have to pass it to somewhere else. Or I was going to throw the ball away. Um, the corner slash the linebacker really wasn't in a proper place. So, especially since they was running zone. So, I, of course, I had to pass it. But, oh, my goodness. They left this man open. Ain't no way. Ain't no way they left him wide open. You want to know why they was blitzing. And, of course, all sides. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. We ain't gonna even worry about that. And yes, the coach is gonna get mad because that's like they that was their seventh penalty to uh they was a seventh penalty. Literally they seventh. I've counted, okay? It was a seventh one, and all of them was for offsides. Not even roughing the quarterback. All of them was for offsides. That's the reason why your cadence is so important in this game, man. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, no. Um there there was no way they should have left that man that open. There was no way I should have never seen him so late either. It's a double negative. We're not gonna get into that though. Uh, the defense did their job, though, stop them from scoring. So now here we are again, fourth quarter, six minutes to go. 27 16. Now, mind you, did we do anything crazy on this play? Uh, I would say no, we didn't. But that play action was beautiful. Call over there with the tight end, beautiful. Beautiful job, tight end, beautiful job. I rarely pass to the tight ends. I mean, of course, I really pass to the tight ends because the wide receivers are always right there to catch the ball. But still, um, I used to be tight end heavy back when I played this game when I was younger. But now that I'm older, it's like, ah, kind of, eh. Like, he all right, but if everybody else get open, what's the point? So, call over the top. Like, those plays are not rare. They are very, 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 very common. Like, it is crazy how common they are. But to get under 30 attempts and you go for 326, it's crazy. Two touchdowns with that as well. If I probably would have had four touchdowns, this character probably would have got player of the game. But like I mentioned earlier, he did not get player of the game, he didn't. Bro, the play action has been working beautiful. Oh my goodness. Into traffic is crazy. Into traffic is crazy like that. Um, but this man went off for 20 to 25 for 300 plus in two touchdowns, man. Like, that's very hard to do. No matter who you're going against, that is very hard to do. Um, this man could have literally, oh my goodness. And a whoop got him. Oh my goodness. Get off me. If this man, number 18, was a little bit faster, because he, he is a taller receiver. He, he actually is taller. No matter what you say, he is a taller receiver. So he's not really built for acceleration and speed. But it is what it is, though, man. That would have been another touchdown, and he would have actually gotten player of the game for that. But um, nothing else happened after that, honestly. It was just a lot of back and forth. And a lot of time management. But that's it. I mean, if you want to cut the video off, you can. I mean, there, there's really nothing else much to say. Like, that, that was... That was it, bro. Like, shout out to Lee Corso, even though these people couldn't hear you. Shout out to you. Um, this man threw for 300 yards, bro. 365. 208 for a quarterback passer rating, dog. It's crazy. It's crazy. And he wasn't player of the game. <laughs> he was not player of the game, dog. He, he wasn't. Um, 27 attempts, 21 completions, 365 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. That interception got taken back for a tutty. Uh, shout out to him for getting lucky. 
uh, 77% completion. Uh, yet again, man, it, it was a, it was a, it was another solid performance. I get that. It was a solid performance by the quarterback. Um, in terms of yards and uh, completion rating, but of course. The touchdown number is what most people really go for when it comes to giving out players of the game and giving out Heisman's as well. The yards are important, but if you don't have 40 plus touchdowns, if you don't have 30 plus touchdowns, I mean, what's the point of getting 3,000 yards? You feel me? Like, that's what they mostly, that's what most the, the committee is looking for mostly. If you don't have over 25 plus on touchdowns for the season, then your, your character is pretty much going to get overshadowed. And yes, we did get sacked a few times, but it is what it is. And rushing wasn't the greatest because it was a good rushing defense. But yet again, another receiver going for 100 and not getting a touchdown. Like, that's, that, that, that's another problem that's going to have to get fixed. It really is. Mostly just due to me playing the quarterback, not the character itself. But uh, shout out to strong safety, though. Uh, my fault for referencing free safety earlier, but it was a strong safety, number 10, that actually got played of the game. He got the interception, 32 yards for a tutty. He did very, very good on the uh, pass. He got a lot of deflections, too. And he was tackling a lot, too. Pretty much helping him support the run game. Um, but... That's the end of it, though, man. Uh, Y'all stay safe, stay blessed, mind your business, take care of your peoples, take care of yourself. And most importantly, mind your business. One more time. Mind your business, okay? Mind your business. Mind your business. Peace and love, y'all. Stay safe.